of Throwback Thursday. So I'm trying to do these once a month. Um, I'll link the other one that I did below. Basically, I go back a year ago and talk to you guys about what my favorites were for that week or that month or what I was loving this time last year and tell you guys if I'm still loving it, if I still recommend it, if I used it up, if I returned it and whatnot. And I've been trying to wear, or the, both times I've worn the same outfit that I was wearing last year. So I will link below um, last year's video because it's funny to watch yourself and it's funny to go back and see, you know, how much you've changed. So I've also been trying to kind of do my makeup how I did it in the video. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about, I've got my phone here because I've wrote down all of the products because some of them I don't have. So I had two fails actually. So let's just get those out of the way. Um, the Urban Decay B6 Prep Spray. Now I only had a sample size of that. I did use it up. However, I didn't end up purchasing the full size because it was a fail. I didn't feel like it did anything tremendous. Um, they said it filled in your pores and it reduced redness and I really just didn't feel like it did that for me. And then another fail was the Nail Teeny Nail Polish in Champagne. And if you watched my vlog uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, it was my makeup room tour. During my remodel, I lost all of my nail polishes, so I don't have that one anymore. However, I didn't really love the formula of the Nail Teeny polishes, and I got those in subscription services. Okay, so let's move on to favorites um, of, of last year. Okay, I was talking about um, the Wantable Accessory Box, and I've got the Makeup Box, the Accessory Box, and the Intimates Box. Of the three, I prefer the Intimates box. Um, I had gotten this big, huge leopard scarf in my um, accessories box that month, and I loved it. And then I got a necklace and a pair of earrings too, and of course, I have no idea where they are. Uh, I think I gave the necklace to my sister. I do like the accessory box. So of the three, it would go Intimates, Accessory, and then the Makeup box, I think. However, um, I'm not getting those boxes anymore. Um, I'm trying to pare down my uh, subscription services. So, um, but I did like it. Okay. I talked about the Philosophy Cupcake Shower Gel, and I don't have that either, darn it, but I love Philosophy products. I use, um, let me just show y'all. I use, I guess I could have got this out. I use the Purity Made Simple Face Wash um, with my Clarisonic, and even when I'm just using it with my hands. I love the face wash. I love all of the body set or the body um, shower gels and stuff. I mainly use them for bubble bath and I'm going to pick up one or two because they have good Christmas sets going right now. And then the Josie Moran Argan Oil Light. I have since switched to the Fresh Seaberry Moisturizing Facial Oil um, because this does a better job at really hydrating my skin than the Josie Moran one. However, if you're not super dry or you don't have really dehydrated skin, the Josie Moran would be a really good light moisturizer, daytime moisturizer for you. So, let's get to some stuff that I actually have, girl. Um, next, I talked about NARS Lovejoy Blush. Now, I've used this a couple of times since I wrote down my Throwback Thursday because it just made me want to pull it out again. It doesn't look very beautiful in the pan. It does have a little bit of gold specks in it. However, when you apply it on your cheeks or even in the swatch, it's pretty matte to be honest. It's just a really great, beautiful fall, natural, neutral blush. And I love it. It does something phenomenal on your cheeks that I really, I can't explain because it looks so blah in the pan, but um, on your cheeks, it looks beautiful. And then I talked about the Galactic Beauty Blush. It's called the Star Blush in Milan. This is one of my top three favorite blushes ever. I love it so much. These Galactic blushes are amazing. They are so soft. Not enough people talk about them. This is kind of like a, it's just a really pretty mauve shade. 
and it's perfect for this time of year. I just, I don't feel like enough people talk about this blush. It's so beautiful. Like I said, it's probably my second or third favorite blush ever. It's the only blush I have from Galactic Beauty, and I did get this in a subscription service. So if you know of any other Galactic blushes that you recommend, let me know. Um, it is a smaller, it's kind of a smaller pan, but I really don't mind that because it's simply amazing. I do have it on my cheeks today. So, the next thing I talked about is the Stila. This is the Natural Eyes. I think it might be called In the Light now. But um, this palette is a phenomenal. I bought this, actually didn't buy this. And I think it might come with a mirror now. I'm not sure. But, um, okay, here's the deal. I wanted Kitten, which is right here. This is what I have on my lids today. All the shadows that I'm wearing are from this palette in this eye look. Um, but Stila's Kitten is the reason I wanted this palette because um, it's just everybody needs Stila Kitten. I mean, you can use it as a brow bone highlight, as a lid color, as a cheek highlight. Um, kind of on your cupid's bow would be really pretty in your inner corner. Stila is just a perfect go-to shade and I feel like it would go perfect from the fairest of the fair to the darkest of the dark. It's just a staple shade. And um, I told my husband I want Stila Kitten the single and he got me this palette because he was like, oh, it comes with Stila and then you, or it comes with Kitten and then you get all these other ones. And how I'm so glad he did. Um, let me tell you the names of my favorite. Bliss right here is just a really great blending shade. I feel myself reaching into this palette a lot of times just for that Bliss shade. And then Gilded Gold right here is another one of my favorites. This is mainly what I'm wearing on my eyes is Gilded Gold in the Outer V, Stila Kitten, and then Bliss kind of as the um, transition color. And uh, this palette is amazing. Um, a lot of times they have these Stila palettes like on sale. Maybe Black Friday might have it or um, what else? Uh, you know how Ulta does like their 21 Days of Beauty sometimes? I've seen these on those one of those days. So keep an eye out for a sale because essentially you can sometimes get this for almost as much as you're going to pay for a kitten, you know, separately. Does that make sense? Okay. Another few eyeshadows I talked about was Makeup Geek's Cream Brulee and it's the center one right here. And this is just a, a really great transition shade and also a blending out shade. Um, I find that sometimes I'll I'll do my eyes and then I'll reach into my Makeup Geek palette um, just to get this cream brulee shade and just get it on a big fluffy brush and blend all of my shadows together and it just makes it a really, um, I did that today actually. I used this at the end, I just blended it and it just, it finishes off the look for some reason for me. And then I talked about the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Gold Rush. I love these color tattoos. Um, I like Gold Rush right now in the, you know, going into the winter because I like to wear gold on my lids a lot. But this one is a really fun color. And I don't think that this one was limited edition. Um, but I don't have a lot, I don't have any bases that are this gold shade. So I was loving that and I still do. Especially if I'm gonna wear gold on my lid, I put this down as a base. And then I talked about this BH shadow in, it's a baked eyeshadow in Sun. And I got this in my Ipsy bag. Um, this is this is a really cool color. On top of that, I'm gonna swatch it. I'm gonna swatch it once like under the Maybelline color tattoo. Um, it's just like a, a, it's like yellow and orange mixed together or gold and orange basically like the sun. But on top of that um, Maybelline color tattoo, it is gorgeous. So let me add that right there. And it just, it, it seriously looks like the sunset on your eyes. And so I was talking about that and I love that. And I think I'm going to do that look here in the next couple days because that got me really wanting to do that. And then the next, um, oh, uh, let's talk about lips. So 
I got the, last year I got the Bite Beauty Holiday Gift Set with the four um, lip crayons. And they have a new one this year. But this, this is a permanent shade and it's in the color Madeira. And I love this color. Oh my gosh, it's like the perfect nude. Um, I am wearing it today with something on top of it. But look at Madeira. Like I said, I have it on today. And I love the formula of these Bite Beauty lip crayon things. Um, because Bite lipsticks, you know, I live in Texas. Even right now, it's pretty warm. You know, even in November, it's pretty warm. But, so when I take them in my purse, sometimes they'll like melt. and But these crayon ones don't. So I love these. And then on top of that, and I mentioned these last last year, these Laura Mercier lipsticks, and they are called the Stick Gloss Rouge, okay? I got these four in a set, and the one I love and that I'm wearing right now is Brown Sugar, and it just, it pairs perfectly over top of Madeira. They're really close, uh, but it gives a little bit of dimension. Madeira isn't really matte. But the um, Josie or the Laura Mercier, did I say Josie Moran earlier? The Laura Mercier um, Brown Sugar Lipstick does give it kind of like a glossy finish, but because it's a lipstick, it wears longer than a gloss. So it gives it more of a satin finish, and I love this. Okay, and then let me go ahead and swatch these other ones. This is Cortisane. These are all like nude colored um lipstick so there's that one and I loved this set I wish it was still available peony is a gorgeous lipstick um this wasn't as on trend as it is this year you know the 90s lip but this would be a perfect 90s lip the Laura Mercier peony and then the last this formula is amazing it's very very creamy and so it doesn't last forever on your lips but it feels so good, it makes it worth it. And then this last one is called Baby Lips. And I'm gonna swatch her right here. This is the lightest of the bunch, I think. And it's a more of a pinky nude, but I've really liked this formula. I haven't bought any more of these Laura Mercier lipsticks, but since doing Throwback Thursday, I think I wanna get a couple more, maybe like some deeper shades. Um, but the, those are just really great staple nudes. And I definitely recommend those lipsticks. I can't believe I haven't bought any more like full size ones because these are the smaller ones. Anyways, that's why I've been loving this series because I'm going back, shopping my own stash, looking at what I was loving last year and really being able to use some of my products that I haven't shown love to recently. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, let me know below if y'all have any recommendations on the Galactic blushes. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.